Uh, we were obviously watching some good football aside from the trash that we've seen in London. Uh, but there's some early MVP candidates I want to elect, man, because um, some of these guys are balling. They're doing their thing. And one of the things that crosses my mind, too, when we talk about the MVP is why is it, you know, we just haven't separated the award for like quarterback MVP? Because anytime we talk about most valuable player, typically in the in the last three to four years, it's been quarterbacks. Despite the season a running back is having, despite the season a wide receiver is having, despite the season a defensive lineman, cornerback, safety, despite the season any other position is having, we only look at quarterbacks for some reason when we talk about the MVP. And that's kind of weird. But, you know, we're just going to play that same game. So I want to, <laughs> which is crazy. We need to change the notion, but we're going to continue on with that game uh, until they make it official of like, all right, here's a quarterback MVP and the league's most valuable player. But, all right, look, so some of the candidates we have here for the MVP early on is I, I got to elect Kirk Cousins as a, as a candidate for MVP. Baker Mayfield is in there for a candidate. I'm going Kyler Murray, C.J. Stroud, and even Jaden Daniels as an early candidate for MVP right now because all of these guys have been playing tremendous. And the most important thing I think you have to have in order to be a candidate for MVP in this NFL is to – be on a team that's winning. If you're not on a team that's winning ball games and having some sort of excitement, then you're going to be canceled out right away. And the list of these guys, obviously, we know they've been bringing it every Sunday they step on the field and every Thursday, Monday, whatever day they're stepping on the field, they're going, they're going crazy. They're throwing bombs. They're smart. They're limiting turnovers. And ultimately, they're showing up in big moments. One of the reasons I think Kirk Cousins has an edge right now in terms of leading the MVP candidates or leading MVP votes whenever that actually officially pops out is because we've seen Kirk Cousins have multiple game winning drives in the fourth quarter and in overtime so far. While we did see Kyler Murray and CJ Stroud have some comeback wins, it was it's not an overtime win in prime time and it's just not like it's not a franchise turning around. What we're seeing Kirk Cousins do right now is completely turn the page on a franchise that's been washed and been beaten down over the last four years. And of course, that's a huge story for the NFL to break. And ultimately, this is huge for Kirk Cousins because obviously he's having some sort of success right now. So as long as they can continue to win, I think we have to consider him as a serious candidate and, and someone who can actually win the MVP um, another guy, Baker Mayfield, man, this dude has been balling. I know Baker Mayfield, you know, recently lost and, you know, hey, Falcons won. Hey, they the better team, whatever. But Baker Mayfield has been on another level. We seen him kind of, you know, reach this steady level of play last year where Baker Mayfield was balling. He looked good in the past, in the, in the last games of last season, like maybe the last five or six games of the end of the season last year. In the playoffs, Baker Mayfield was pretty decent as well. And now he's come out with a completely, completely different swagger. Like, I, I mean, the man is, it, I, I think the, the word I'm really looking for, not even swagger. I don't, I don't think Baker Mayfield has come out with a completely different swagger. I think he's come out with a completely different intellect. Like, He's been very decisive. He's been reading defenses at, a, at another level that we've never seen him do before. So you got to give credit to Baker Mayfield for holding it down. Kylo Murray, obviously, with him being healthy and having these comeback wins like he had against San Francisco is huge. He's got a great receiver in Marvin Harrison Jr. over there, and he's really putting him to work. So we see Kylo Murray healthy, and a lot of people forget because of recency bias that, oh, this guy's actually good. Yeah, he's only 5'7", five, 5'8", five, but this dude is actually good. He can scramble, he's smart, he can throw, he's accurate. All of these different qualities that we forgot about Kyler Murray, and now that he's back healthy and winning ball games, it's on display, and we're realizing, like, oh, shit, maybe this dude is a, maybe he seriously is an MVP candidate. So you got to consider him. C.J. Stroud doing his thing, very young quarterback, had a great season last year, and now we see him kind of picking up where he left off. I'm a little bit more of a challenge because teams is trying to throw a little bit more at him. But, you know, above all, he's still been playing great. And then Jaden Daniels, quarterback of the Washington Commanders, doing his thing. This dude, a rookie quarterback, has caught me by surprise. I, I, I know 
Everyone has so much hype about, oh, yeah, Jaden Dillers is going to come in. He's going to shock the world. And, and while I partially believe that, I thought he was going to be great. It's just something different when you see that guy actually out there executing on the field um, at this tier and, and at this elite level. Like, the dude has been balling. He's got the highest completion percentage in the NFL right now. So, you know, that kind of tells you how accurate and decisive he's been, you know, through the season so far within the first four to five weeks. But in particularly, man, I, I think these quarterbacks right now, they have an advantage because they're winning and they bring an edge of excitement whenever you're watching them play. Whenever you watch one of these teams that these guys are on, whether it be Baker Mayfield, Kyler Murray, CJ Stroud, Kirk Cousins, or Jaden Daniels, it's gonna be exciting. You know you can rely on some solid quarterback play. And above all, that's gonna be the thing that really propels them to be an MVP candidate. So um, I'm rolling with those guys right now. Not saying who's gonna actually win and all of that, but right now, if I had to choose, me being unbiased, me being unbiased, I'm going with Kirk Cousins just because he's he's had the man, he's had the late game comebacks. He's had him in prime time too, which just makes that much more of a difference. And he's turning his team around, turning his franchise around in the first few games. So this is huge stuff for Kirk Cousins. But right now, I'm going with him if I had to choose an MVP. Um, anyway, look, man, let's get to some news real quick because uh, why not? And I'll tell you this too, man. Go ahead, shoot us a quick take. On our voicemail line, if you heard something you agree with, you disagree with, you like or you dislike, 219-413-9405. And of course, we will play your take back on our voicemail line. But, hey, man, 